I went to the Olivia Rodrigo concert in St. Louis a couple days ago with my daughter, who's seven years old, Aspen's first concert. It's very exciting. At one point, we walked up to, there was a, a table. They were handing out stuff, free stuff. And I looked at the table, I did a glance, and it, there was vote stickers. And I was like, oh, you're not 18. Like, we're, this is not for us. And we walked away. Well, after the concert, I realized that not only was it a vote sticker, but there was also contraception. There was plan B and condoms being handed out as well. I did not notice this. And that, I mean, I was very focused on my daughter, but at the same time, it was not super obvious that this was being handed out at the concert. Actually, I looked it up and it was handed out under, the plan B was handed out under a name called Julie. So it wasn't obvious at all, I think. In the sentiment of women's reproductive health and women's bo rights and, and um, women making choices for their bodies in general, I applaud Olivia for providing plan B and sexual contraception to um, you know, people who are interested in getting it. To hear about contraception being offered was a little jarring for me because I think that probably that audience would have responded better to maybe free tampons or maybe diva cups or something in the way of promoting women's sexual health, but maybe not sp focusing specifically on sexual intercourse or what can you know transpire after sexual intercourse. But I do appreciate the sentiment and, and the political statement that was made, and which is that Olivia supports women's reproductive rights. And I feel like that's a very important message to send to everyone, especially as she rises in fame. I, I just really think that this is Olivia's prerogative to do what she wants. And I think that at her level of stardom, she's really she really can um, live her most authentic life because she doesn't have to prove herself to anyone else. She's at the tip top and she can make whatever statement or message that she wants to make. And if people don't like it, they don't have to go and they don't have to support and it's not going to bother her one way or the other. So I don't care if she does it or doesn't do it because that is her own thing. This is her empire that she built. And all we can do is have an opinion, but it doesn't matter. The law says that you're allowed to have sexual intercourse at 17 or 18, right? Well, Olivia Rodrigo is 21 years old and she's attracting a lot more girls and teenagers that uh, are younger than 17 and 18. Now, does that mean that they're not sexually active or they're not drinking alcohol or whatever? No, I mean, people make bad decisions or smart decisions, whatever decision they want to make. People make decisions all throughout their life at any time. It doesn't matter what age you are. I don't think that, you know, if there was a 21 year old male singer that was, you know, rising to fame, I think, let's say if Justin Bieber was 21 and he was, you know, at promoting some sort of concert and had condoms handed out, I don't think he would get the same level of backlash. So I think that we need to look at ourselves and maybe ask ourselves if this level of scrutiny over Olivia Rodrigo might be a bit sexist. I think parents have a right to feel um, a level of interest and involvement in their child's sexual health and activities. Um, to act with anger, I think that's just a reaction of ignorance 